Good morning. Today's devotional is written by Nima Cyrus Franklin and from Psalm 118. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. You are my God and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. When I was a child, the elders in my home congregation would recite Psalm 118 seemingly every Sunday. As a preacher's kid, I often overheard the hardships faced by those in our church as my parents prayed on their behalf. There were countless struggles and challenges, untreated mental illnesses, homelessness after losing a job, discrimination at school and the workplace, wrongful incarcerations and years of legal bills to name but a few. I knew those in the congregation were living through a nightmare and I couldn't understand why or how they could extol the words of the psalmist amid such unseemingly unsurmountable odds. Years later I understood this lesson from my youth. At times our world seems to spin out of control, out of our ability to will a favorable outcome. When I found myself in difficult circumstances as an adult, I reflected on the lessons from my childhood. I remembered that during these moments, I didn't have to suffer in silence. During the prayers of the people at church, I gave my worries and situation over to God. We stood together, cried together, and praised together the God who created us to be more than conquerors. Life's difficult circumstances provided for me and my congregation an invitation to meet with God front and center, together. It was an invitation not to journey alone, an invitation to an ongoing, dynamic experience of humanity connecting with God, an invitation to be the beloved community. Please pray with me. Dear God, there are times when I feel so alone and troubled. Light my path and guide my feet so that I may come to know and experience your loving grace through your beloved community. Amen. And until tomorrow, blessings.